So today I'm just going to explain a little bit about hot pack heaters, a little bit about how they work, why they work, and a few things that you can do to help yourself get the best meal. Hot pack makes a variety of different strengths, but probably 95% of them are this product, which is used in both our boxes, our action packs. It's available separately or as a single heater like this. But you can get this heater in 80 and 100 gram versions for extreme conditions, snow, ice or icy water. One of the common misunderstandings is that people think that this pad will take their meal to a set temperature. What it actually does is add 72 degrees to the existing temperature. So if this water is 5 degrees, you get 79. If it's 10, you get 82 and so on. You get the idea. Water is quite commonly used because it's easily available in many situations. We also do supply, uh, it's not drinking water, it has a little bit more in it, an activation sachet. And this will activate the pad a little bit more aggressively. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So just a little bit of water, that's completely wet but not flooded. In a short while, you'll see it activate and see how it works inside the pad. As we said earlier, depending on the temperature of the water in the meal will determine the final temperature. If you've left it in your flap of your tent or in the boot of a car on a January night, you're going to be starting off with a lower temperature. Add 72 degrees, it'll affect the final temperature of your meal. Put it in the main part compartment of your car or put it in the main part of your tent where it's warmer, you'll end up with a hotter meal. So you can see it activating despite the fact I've used fairly cool water. Um, if you found yourself in extreme conditions where you were snow holing or in a lot of snow, we do have higher power versions of these, but in most cases it's really not necessary and you must be careful when you use a high power version in a situation where it's not needed because you get a more aggressive reaction. So that's what happens to the pad inside there. And of course inside here, you will have placed your meal so that this pad is central of the meal and this will heat up the center of your meal. So you need to, when it's time to serve it, just move the stuff from the edge, which won't be quite as hot as the stuff in the middle. Make sure it's all hot and that's your pad. And you see it expands quite a bit uh, and that will continue probably for 14, 15 minutes. Um, although you only need it for eight to 10 minutes to heat up your meal. So this is an aluminum heater. This is the most popular version. It suits 95% of the needs. Bear in mind the problems with temperature. Um, so just ensure that, you know, you haven't got frozen water. If you want a hot meal, it's in your interest just to make sure your water's a little bit warmer and your meal.